All right, I'm here with Crossroads 360 at Kingdombound, and I'm talking to Trevor McNeven from Thousand for Trust. What's going on? You are no stranger to Crossroads. Absolutely, man. We love the Crossroads. <laughs> we go way back. <laughs> well, you you guys have come a long way, and you have a huge, very loyal fan base. How does a little band from Peterborough, Ontario, have this huge career that has gone on and on and on and gain momentum as you go? A really good question. Uh, <laughs> honestly, we, I mean, God's been so faithful. I give all the glory to God for sure, 100%. But we, you know, we worked really hard. And I think, uh, you know, music is definitely a, a persistence game and a discipline game. And so we, we've, we've stuck with it, you know, and uh, it's, that's our passion. That's, that's who we are, you know, as far as what we love and what we feel called to do. So I, it's, you kind of just run at it, you know. You don't really think about it as work, and it's something you love to do. So, it's been uh, an incredible adventure, and you know, we still feel like we're just getting started. So it's kind of, uh, you know, always something to learn, man. So, we actually went independent about two years ago. Yes, you guys are somewhat pioneers in the Christian industry to go on your own and do Kickstarter. You yeah, know, it was a little, that story. It was a new thing at the time. It was very new to us too, and uh, we had been with Tooth and Nail and EMI for about ten years, and awesome people we love them and just kind of uh it was a bit of a faith step we felt like this is the right move for, for tsk and so it's been uh an awesome thing we really wanted to be able to make music with the people who supported this band you know and this music and so we yeah now we we, we created uh kind of pulled together our own team and everything is 100 percent independent so it's uh yeah no record labels or anything like that and um it's been it's been awesome it's been a great thing but for were us. you surprised like i think your goal was thirty thousand. oh with kickstarter yeah and then man. you ended oh. up like well over a hundred like, yeah that was that's a surprise you're oh like my yeah, gosh, yeah i know we have a loyal fan base no honestly that was we were away i mean we were freaking out about that we i at the time, it was so new, we had no idea if it was going to yeah. bring in anything. You know, it just seemed like a cool way to be able to connect with people and offer them some unique stuff and if they wanted to support it. So, yeah, that was crazy. That's awesome. Thank you, everybody, for the thing you uh, supported on Kickstarter. Get it off. So, the end is where we begin. Where is the end? And where is the beginning? Man, this record, uh, the symbolism of that title to me just, you know, it means a bunch of things. I mean, for me, part of it was being independent and then signing to a label and then going back to being independent. And part of it was just, I feel like, you know, I'm just on a faith level. Um, you know, it's that point in our lives, and I can definitely relate to that, where you just completely say, all right, man, you know, I trust you and give up the keys. And uh, it's kind of when you come to the end of yourself that, that you really begin the voyage, you know, and so to me, that's kind of what the name recommends. Now, you have had some challenges. Since this summer, we were hoping to meet up with you at Wonder Jam. Yeah. And you guys could make it. What happened? Yeah, you know what? I just, I literally just got physically exhausted. It's the absolute truth. Yeah, we, I had my first, my wife and I had our first son. Yeah. Uh, he's like three months old. He's Cohen. He's awesome. Um, but yeah, we had our new son, and I was building a new studio at my place, and then also writing for our brand new CFK record coming out later. And uh, so, yeah, I think all at once it just uh, just got a little overwhelmed, you know? So it was kind of uh, good to just take some time and recharge. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I have one more question. It's been in the sidebar. We met up with your brother at Boots and Heart. Yeah. Country Music Chance. Festival. And uh, we heard him talk from his heart, and he got a little emotional about how passionate you are about making sure that when you perform a gig, whether it's at a Christian festival or whether it's in a club, uh, you want to make sure that you take at least a moment to share part of the song and what's behind it and, and really share your faith. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, you know, for us, uh, you know, our faith is, is who we are. You know, our music is, is a part of us, but our faith is who we are. You know, it's like a, it's, it's our lifestyle. It's not, we don't look at it as a genre of music, you know, and so uh, we, we've always... Our hearts are always going to make music for everybody, and and that's the truth. You know, we uh, one night we might be playing with Foo Fighters, and the next night Newsboys. You know, like tonight, and so we're kind of all over the place, and uh, we don't treat it any differently what we do or who we are. You know, I think uh, my heart and what we always try to share is just, and we just we're here. God ultimately it called us to each other to love to love people. You know, is it hard breaking into the secular? Like when you're rubbing shoulders with Foo Fighters, is that is that easy, or being a Christian I mean, is that? Yeah, you know, I think if you go into it, just, you know, loving each other and respecting each other for, for who we are and what we do, it's great. You know, in some circles, they might respect you for your music first and then get to know you better. And uh, But, yeah, I think if you, you know, there's no judging. You just, just love people and be who you are. Uh, yeah, it's, 
I think it can be an easy transition awesome. for us. Yeah. That's a great message. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. Thank you. Have a great show tonight. Thanks very much.